So I just went ahead and reinstalled SketchUp Pro 2021, or if you're using SketchUp Make, this will work just as well. But what I thought I'd go ahead and do before I got my workspace set up the way I'd want it is uh, I thought I'd go ahead and show you how I do it. You can, of course, customize your workspace any way you want, but um, this is what I found works for me. To begin with, under, not tools, but under view, odd place to put it, I always have the large tool set available. And if you're using a Windows computer, it will dock. But if it's a Mac like mine, the large tool set just goes ahead and floats. Then I'll come up here, right click and customize the toolbar. And I'll begin by taking and just getting rid of all these icons. Just drag them down like this because Basically, I've already got them all in my large tool set, so I don't need to include or take up valuable screen real estate with duplicate icons. And then I'll just go ahead and leave these here. These are new in 2021. Um, as a matter of fact, they've done a whole overhaul of the logos, and but fortunately, your primary icons are still the same, or I think I'd go nuts. So I take and always put up the standard views. And another one that came out a year or two ago was X-Ray. There it is right there, X-Ray mode. Not really used to using it yet. I use a keyboard shortcut. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then redo and undo. And that's about all I really keep up there. So I'll go ahead and close that. And let's just go ahead and draw some quick geometry here like that. So with that x-ray mode button now, I can just quickly take a look inside. Now I'm accustomed to using almost all of the keyboard shortcuts that are built into the program, but a couple that are not built into the program that I like to use, I go ahead and add in preferences. So under shortcuts here, and I'll go ahead and type in x-ray because that's what I'm used to doing. Select it, add an x, that should be good. And then I'll close this out here. And then the other one I do is perspective. And so for camera perspective, I use this little key up at the top that I never use for anything else. Some kind of language symbols. I'll go ahead and have those there. So now when I press x on my keyboard, I get x-ray and then when I press this little uh, curly Q key I can change my my camera's perspective and why would I want to do that let's go ahead and again we're just gonna go ahead and just draw something simple here there we go and P for push-pull so when I orbit this around right now I can see this edge and this edge these ones here on the inside. So if I want to draw a line or use my tape measure tool, I can do that. However, if I change the camera angle and come around like this, if I want to draw a line, I have to get started, come across, orbit, and do that. So being able to change that view quickly can really help out. Most of the time, I like looking at it this way, uh, where I'm just looking directly at it and lines that are parallel are parallel on your screen. This way, not so much. So um, that's how I set mine up. Uh, it's, it's really pretty easy to do once you know where the magic sauce is hidden and I hope that helps.